was a great night to take the stairs. It was a great <laughs> night. A couple hundred people turned out for the stadium stampede over at Harvard Stadium. I was proud to represent WBZ. The, there I go. Climbing the stairs to raise money for the Positive Coaching Alliance. Great organization that focuses on positivity in creating better athletes and better people. I'm still winded from it. Nicely done. Well, for good reason. That's hard. It was hard. Good cause, too. I'm still tired. That's all right. It was a nice night for it. What's with my running style, too? I, why do I keep my hey, hands hey, so Hey, hey, hey. Don't be critical of yourself. I be run proud like you did it. Mr. Roboto. Eric, take it away. It's being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. I look forward to carrying, fireman carrying Wade out into the parking lot to go home <laughs> later on tonight. A lot of stairs out there. And uh, you know what? Really a beautiful evening. Take a look at the temperatures today. These were our highs. We're going to get used to this. This is basically a look at our high temperatures over the next three days. So there'll be a couple degrees of difference here and there. But for all intents and purposes, it's what we're going to get. 80s inland, 70s at the coastline, 70 degrees in Boston right now. But the dew points... That's the important thing this time of year. 51, nice dry air in place. It's going to be a cool night. Already some 50s out there, like in Keene. The dew points are in the 50s. So that's basically our overnight low temperature. And that dry air has taken up residence across the northeast again. We're going to get a couple of really comfortable days by midsummer standards. So that cold front that came through this morning and brought with it a couple of downpours is keeping Chris out to sea. And it'll be accelerating out to sea as we head into tomorrow. The wave action decreasing throughout the day tomorrow as well. And it's going to be a beautiful. 60s in the morning, nice pleasant start to the day, warming up to around 80 at lunchtime, into the 80s tomorrow afternoon inland, still some 70s at the coastline, light onshore breeze tomorrow, won't be as breezy as what we had out there today. So most of our highs, 80 to 85 for those inland locales, mid to upper 70s at the coastline, nice, warm, sunny, perfect day. And at the beach, that southeast breeze kicks in at about 5 to 10. Just use some caution out there. The ocean-facing beaches, an increased risk of some rip currents, but the waves are not high enough to issue a high surf advisory. For the Cape and the islands, we've got 70s for the next few days overall. A very pleasant stretch of weather. Great out there. And uh, if you look at Fenway Park, no complaints either. Not a whole lot to talk about. Kind of a San Diego forecast for us here over the next couple of days. Perfect weather at Fedway as we approach the All-Star break. One thing we will watch, high tides late this week and into the weekend. We have a new moon. It's a perigean new moon, meaning it's close in its orbit. And so we're going to see very high tide levels, both on late Thursday night into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The Saturday tide is the highest. Most of these are in the middle of the night. There could be some localized road closures and areas of flooding near the coast. So if you're one of those communities, keep a close eye on the water. Otherwise, we've got sunshine for Thursday, partly cloudy skies on Friday. Saturday, we're going to watch this front. That will likely arrive late and bring with it a chance for a couple of thunderstorms late on Saturday into early on Sunday. Not a whole lot of rain, and most towns will stay dry, but that's our best chance over the next few and our weekend temps will be in the 80s humidity stays really manageable for tomorrow Friday and Saturday it starts to get a little bit more muggy on Sunday and then the real humidity starts to move back in our direction on Monday to start next week and a look at the pollen counts no big issues here overall this is just a get outside stretch and compared to last week where it was a little oppressive too hot for a lot of people this is just in that Goldilocks territory for mid-July Lots of 80s out there and 70s at the coast. Should be a warm but enjoyable weekend. And then Monday and Tuesday, the heat and humidity are back. A chance of 90s back into the region. Right now, it looks like our best chance of rain Tuesday night into Wednesday. Dave and Lisa, back to you.